worried about sleep deprivation, especially in adults, because everybody here is an adult or older. Okay, sleep is very essential for humans and I think animals, because that is a state where you rest your mind and your consciousness, your consciousness is partially or completely lost. And you can also rest your muscles and in fact it's a state of rest. But nowadays, there are many people who deprive themselves from sleep because they want to go clubbing like every day. Some people want to work all the hours to make money or savings for something else, I don't know. But you can be shocked that the money you're trying to save, you're going to be using it for hospital bills. And also, some people st um, deprive themselves from sleep because they want to get into the Guinness Book of Records of staying up for 30 years, 33 years, just for fame. Some people stay up because of illnesses, like fatal, familiar insomnia. But sleep deprivation is very bad to the health. It's very bad. In fact, people who spend less than seven hours of sleep a day are likely to die earlier than people who sleep for more than seven hours. And people who oversleep, too, are also likely to die earlier. So it's good that we have a seven to eight hours of rest at least every day. It is very important. Okay, there's some effect that, there's some physiological effects that sleep deprivation caused, like headaches, stress, your stress level increases. It can also lead to type, diabetes type two. Um, it affects your cognitive function. It, cause, it causes confusion. And also, 10 part tantrums in children, even though they're not adults. Yeah, and many research, it can lead to accidents too, because when you're tired and you don't focus, you can have accidents on the road. And many research have been, many studies have come up and it has proven that sleep deprivation affects the brain as a whole. It affects the brain and it can also increase blood pressure and your pulse rate, which is not good for your health. We need everything to be normal. So, like a recent study in the Harvard Medical School in the year 2000, where they used the functional map. The functional magnetic retina imaging technology. And subjects, they were monitoring the brain activity of the prefrontal cortex. That's the, the part of the brain which is involved in cognitive function. And those who were sleep deprived, it showed that they, they showed more activity. That's, since the brain uses glucose to function, so more activities were going on in sleep de deprived subjects than those who were not sleep deprived, which means they take a longer time to complete a specific task than those who get, had their normal hours of sleep. So especially for us students, if we spend all night doing things, playing games, going clubbing, or even studying, it makes you tired. Let's say you have an exam the next morning and you come to class, you have a you have a one you have a one hour fifteen minute exam, so it will take you a longer time for you to complete your exam than somebody who had adequate sleep. So and at the end, it's gonna affect our grades. So for me, I don't think it's necessary to study all night. I don't study all night because. When I get to my exam hall, I'm instead tired. Especially, let's, let's say mathematics and things I have to like reason very fast. So I get, up, I, I get tired easily. So I rather study, study when I can during the day and get adequate sleep so I can be able to bring out, perform my tasks on time. So it's good to get adequate sleep because it's gonna affect our grades. So good sleep, give you good grades. Okay, <laughs> and the other one is like blood pressure, increase your blood pressure and your pulse rate because if you stay all night, like the brain produces this hormone melatonin, which is secreted like 9 p.m. at night, which induces and maintains sleep. So it's gonna it's gonna be there. So working against that hormone is working against your own body. So you stress your you stress your own self, and by doing so, you have like high blood pressure and high pulse rate, which is not good. Like when your pressure gets too 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 high, it can lead to a stroke. And I don't think a stroke has a cure. So we have to take care of ourselves by getting adequate sleep. Like, when you start getting to 16, let's say you start getting to 24 hours of not getting sleep, it's very dangerous and very risky. And also, when it comes to driving, when you 
lastly, you can have accident because you don't focus on the road. Because it's not about you driving, there are other drivers, you share the road. So if you're not focused, if you're sleepy and like most people go to the club, in the mornings most of them have accidents. Because they're tired, some of them are being drunk, but some of them are also tired, those who didn't drink. And those, from the news last two weeks, there was this guy who had an accident and he went into the bushes. So the, the officers came, they tested his alcohol level, which was normal, and they finally saw that he was suffering from lack of sleep. And lack of sleep for more than 17, 17 hours is uh, it's, it's worse than 0.5% of alcohol in your blood. And lack of sleep of more than 21 hours is equivalent of 0.8% of alcohol in your blood. So lack of sleep is very dangerous to us and to the people around us because you can hit an innocent person on the road due to your tiredness and fatigue caused by lack of sleep, which is not good. And also, um, in 2009, February 2009, there was a crash, it was a plane crash in Buffalo, New York, which killed 50 people. And it was, when it was investigated, it was one of, part of the reason of the crash was because the pilot was fatigued, you know, so most of these com airline companies were advised to let their pilot get enough rest for them to embark on the journey. So sleep is very important. It is very important. It helps in, in your cognitive function. It gives you a normal life and it makes you a better person. Like most people who are, who are sleep deprived are confused and at least at times they are depressed. And like Marcel was talking about gunshots. If you're depressed, the next thing you can go like kill people, which is not good. Mm -hmm. You understand? So it, it's good for us to get at least for adults seven to nine seven to nine hours of sleep every day. It doesn't matter if you're a morning or night person, you cannot work against your own self. You have to take responsibility of your own self, do your things at the right times and do what you're supposed to do. Most celebrities most celebrities have lost their lives because they are performing all night and they didn't have adequate sleep because you have to perform in Europe, the next morning in America, in Asia. So they didn't get enough sleep and most of them that have died due to complication of lack of sleep. So sleep is very important in our daily lives. No matter what we do, let's try to get enough sleep. Thank you. All right, who would like to go next? Me.